Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, what is primary key constraint and how to create. Uh, so let's go ahead and open SSMS uh, and take a look. Uh, here I have a definition for our primary key constraint. Uh, primary key constraint uh, is created uh, to ensure uniqueness of records or the rows. Uh, primary key constraint can be created on single column or a set of columns uh, as long as the column or columns uh, do not allow null values. Uh, so th we understand uh, um, the requirement for the primary key. So let's say you are working as a SQL Server developer and uh, your team wants you to create a table but they want uh, the unique records in that table. So you will create one primary key that will make sure all the records will go as uniquely. You cannot insert duplicate records uh, in that table. Next, uh, uh, you can uh, use a single column or uh, if you want to use uh, multiple columns you have the option but uh, as long as the, those columns are defined as not null. So here we are going to discuss two things. When uh, you create the primary key constraint uh, and there is no cluster index uh, on that table uh, already created, uh, it will create uh, the cluster index uh, automatically or by default. So let's uh, take a look on this uh, definition. We have create table dbo customer and then you have columns customer id first name last name and social security number and then we have data types uh, for these columns uh, to just uh, add a primary key you will be saying primary key in front of that uh, column so after the data type you will be adding primary key keywords uh, that's all you will do and uh, if you notice that uh, i did not even say uh, not null or null or anything here if i this one f name i do do not say not null it is going to be considered as a null and this one as well so let me go and say not null just for social and rest of those two columns you see that uh, I am not putting anything it means they can accept the null also I did not include uh, not null here why uh, as uh, I am adding the primary key I it will automatically uh, uh, have this column as a not null because you have added primary key right here but you can always go ahead and say not null if you want that's not a problem but by default that's going to happen now let's create this table with the primary key so the table is created successfully let's go and take a look the table is created in tech Brothers it database customer and you can see that customer id and right in front of the customer id we see pk primary key integer type not null even we have not uh, put the not null here so as the uh, sql server knows that okay if somebody is creating the primary key the column has to have a, a not null that's the reason and uh, first name and uh, last name uh, they are what are and they are null because we did not put not null constraint there and for social uh, we have not null that's great next uh, according to the our definition here if uh, there is no uh, cluster index already created on that table it does create the cluster index uh, to verify that part uh, we have this statement uh, select object name and uh, I'm passing the object ID and I'm using a uh, view called the sys dot objects uh, to get uh, the object names this will return me the table name and uh, I'm uh, selecting all those columns uh, from this uh, view as well uh, and I'm only looking for a customer table uh, so if I run this one uh, I, I can see here I have a customer table okay and this is the name of the uh, cluster index so you can see this is the type and that uh, um, verifies our first statement okay if there is a uh, no cluster index already created and you create a primary key it is going to create a, a cluster index that verifies now let's uh, expand that part a little bit a uh, couple more things if you notice from here let me show you the SQL server took the name uh, actually a SQL server gave the name automatically to the primary key because we did not provide uh, any name for the primary key so it start with PK underscore customer that means uh, so primary key underscore table name and then have uh, uh, random numbers so if you would like to follow some naming convention I recommend and uh, we can uh, create uh, uh, right here I'm gonna drop the table first uh, and recreate the table with the proper naming convention so I will say after you have column and data type you will say constraint and then provide uh, the name so let's say 
we say pk customer and then provide the uh, column on which we are creating the primary key if that's the name in convention we would like to use uh, now if we go ahead and create a uh, this is the primary key this is created and uh, now we can see the primary key is uh, now well formatted or uh, following our name and standards also let's go ahead and if we see the table right here so that's the name it is using now now that's good that's good thing at least uh, we are providing some good name and convention and we can tell like okay which column is used in the primary key so next uh, we are gonna uh, experiment the part we said that okay you cannot uh, uh, insert duplicate records it always accept the unique records so insert into dbo customer and uh, i'm inserting this record let's go ahead and insert it one row is uh, inserted successfully select the data and you see that we have customer id one if i will try to insert this data again it is going to throw me error violation of primary key constraint and uh, this is the name of the constraint it is telling us it cannot insert duplicate key in the object dbo customer the duplicate key key is a one so that means if you will create the primary key you will never be able to insert the duplicated records and that's good thing because we have those situations where we do not want to insert duplicate records such as uh, uh, instead of maybe customer id social security number you will never want to have a a uh, two people with the same social security in your table that's wrong because everybody uh, has only one social security number but you, you want to discuss this requirement with your business and uh, find out which columns should be unique and then include that in the primary key let's uh, go to the next part i'm going to drop the table again and experiment with the second part but where we say okay if cluster index is already created on a column and uh, primary is key is going to create a unique index index so instead of a cluster index it will create a unique index so you have the option let's say you created a table here we are creating customer table and we are in customer id integer not null and uh, we have first name last name and social security not null then uh, we are creating a, a cluster index on ssn so first let's create the table then we go ahead and we say create cluster index uh, and provide the name of the index whatever you want to have uh, in my case i start with ix cluster ssn and this, then set on and provide the table name dbo customer and then provide the column name so that's where i want to create my cluster index uh, i created that now if we go and uh, take a look on the sys.indexes table here you see that uh, this is cluster index already created uh, for this uh, table so great now if we create uh, the primary key then it is going to create the unique cluster so you have to see that here um, if uh, alter table db customer add constraint pk customer customer id that's the name of the constraint and then i'm saying primary key and then providing the name of the column on which i would like to create the primary key so customer id that's where i want to create the uh, primary key if I run this one, now you will see, and we go ahead and run sys.indexes, we will see a non-cluster unique index is created with this name. So here we don't see anything really in the, uh, if you want to just see that, okay, where are uh, my indexes? So you see right here. So you have a, a cluster index and that's where you have a, pk customer underscore customer id unique non-cluster index so there are two scenarios we learned from here first uh, with the primary key it makes sure the records are inserted uh, and they are unique they will never be duplicated so that is a good thing if that's our requirement and you can use single column or multiple columns uh, when you are creating the primary key then we learn how to give proper name to your primary key constraint when you are adding a primary key and uh, then we learn uh, okay if uh, uh, we do not even provide a not null here it is already taken or as a default it will take not null uh, for the column on which you are creating uh, the primary key also it create the cluster index uh, if the the cluster index does not uh, uh, exist uh, on the table next uh, if the cluster index uh, already exists uh, 
what it will do it will create a unique non cluster index uh, uh, when you will create the primary key so thanks very much for watching this video and i will have this uh, um, scripts uh, on the post and put the link in the description so you can just copy and paste and uh, experiment with them thanks and i will see you guys in the next video